Oh, our Michael Grady let off the questioning with Kai. Hey, Kyrie, uh, team effort tonight, 20 games over 500, total possession of first in the East. Can you give me a quality that you appreciate most about this group? Oh, man, we're just figuring, I guess we could just give credit to just figuring things out on the fly with this team, just being very mature in our approach uh, to the game and living with the results. Uh, like I said, we, we have talent, but we've just been able to just remain flexible throughout some of the uh, circumstances that we've been faced with. So I think with that being, with that in addition to uh, just going out there and really trusting each other, you know, just getting this new group together and trusting uh, what we have going on here. You know, there's a lot of outside noise in terms of the way we put this team together. Um, it's inevitable that we all hear it, but it's just, you know, what matters is how we handle um, our relationships within the locker room and then go out there and put on a good performance. And a lot of, you know, high IQ ball players with this group, Mike James, just thrown into the mix. Uh, what'd you like about what Mike brought to the table tonight? As you can see on some of my, <laughs> some of my reactions on the sideline, I was really impressed. Um, you know, we just want him to, to fill in as best he can, uh, just feel comfortable, welcome him with open arms. Uh, you know, we got a few games in these next few, uh, few days, so just want to get him well acclimated and just going out there and having fun. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey Kyrie, I don't, I don't think we're going to get a chance to talk to you before Sunday, so I'm hoping we can look ahead just a little bit. What have you seen from what Chris Paul and Devin Booker have been able to do together with the Suns? Uh, I think they've been able to mesh well uh, very quickly. Uh, obviously, we know how talented we, we've known in, in terms of uh, a lot of us that respect the game at a high level, that Devin Booker is one of the best young players uh, playing our game today. So we just, you know, for me, uh, as well as others, I, I just wanted to see him be competitive in that Western Conference. Uh, you know, his first few years, it's never good to lose that many games. But when you get a great leader uh, in Chris Paul that has had success uh, in the regular season and in the playoffs, um, and they have a chance to, you know, do something special uh, in that Western Conference going against some, some top-notch teams. They, they put it together very well. Uh, so I give them credit, a lot of respect um, as a competitor, um, but just as an observer, as a, as a fan, it's been really, really cool. And, uh, you know, just been a lot of fun basketball to watch with them being. You've talked about playing on the, the biggest scale, the highest scale. For someone like Devin, who's never done that, been in the league six years, I mean, what, what does that mean and do for a player's stature? You said high basketball minds, but for everybody who's a mm -hmm. fan of the league to go from, you know, being good in the regular season to being good in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, well, he's built for it. Uh, you know, he, he he's a product of uh, a lot of the philosophies that great players before him have put forth, and, and he's a student of the game. And I respect a lot of students of the game that approach it uh, with the mentality that hard work, um, you know, it, it will always outlast talent. And obviously when he matches his talent with the IQ of the game and he has great teammates around that there to support him and, and help him um, in, in times of need, uh, you know, I think it, it makes him a lot better. So we've seen him grow and I've been nothing but proud as just a, as a brother to him, um, you know, so I'm looking forward to the competitive game on Sunday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. <clears throat> hey, Kyrie, you've obviously had a pretty heavy workload the last few games with, with James and Kevin out. Um, you know, could you tell tonight you didn't quite have your A game the way you're scoring the ball and you were going to have to kind of just gut it out everything you had with the other aspects of the game? Yeah, Brian. Uh, anytime you shoot four for 19, you know, you're never going to be happy with that. But, uh, you know, as a competitor, I was just, trying to go out there and do the little things, the small details, whether it be, you know, picking guys up or just being in the right position. You know, when you don't have your legs on the offensive end, I felt like I was getting to where I wanted to go. But, you know, just a few angles, right, left, short, this, that, uh, just continuing to play, just continuing to have that, uh, that mentality, just next play, and, and I can have an impact uh, with my teammates on both ends of the floor, uh, just making the right play. You know, it's a simple game when, um, you know, you got teammates that are out there that uh, –